Pharmacotherapy with ADHD has made a profound breakthrough, and it started way back in 1937 when George still used amphetamine for a group of children in a hospital that he had founded. And in the hospital, it was for boys who did not themselves comport appropriately in school and oftentimes at home. And in fact, he tried amphetamine solely because he was taking spinal taps to see if there was something in the spinal fluid that represented this notion of ADHD, this behavior, the behaviors associated with ADHD. And kids were getting headaches, so he gave them amphetamine to relieve the headaches. Well, it turned out that kids started managing themselves highly successfully in the classroom. The children, the boys themselves, called it their math pill. It was so successful. So amphetamine was used effectively for a long time until methylphenidate came along, then methylphenidate, or everybody knows it as Ritalin, was used. So both of these medicines have been around for quite a while. So there really are still two primary stimulants used. There are, I've lost count, but close to 29 or even more now, different ways of delivering these two chemicals. 